Hey y'all, welcome to 2019. My name is Sam Basher. What? Did you change it for the new year? No, but I did this. Oh, cool. Let's talk about Spider-Verse. We're going to talk about Spider-Verse because not only did it win Golden Globe Best Animated yes. Film, shout out, really wish it won more, but it's being nominated for everything. It's nominated yeah. for Best Animated Film for BAFTA. It's the only movie I'm okay with beating Isle of Dogs for Best Animated Film. Yeah. Yeah. You can sleep hack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's I'm a, very comfortable It's with a that. real winner, and I'm going to go see it for a sixth time because mm -hmm. uh, I very much like this movie, and I hope more animated movies look like this and have this kind of care put behind it. But yes. I wouldn't mind if that care... Made a little transition over to TV as well. Yeah. There's some news, some rumblings over at Sony that they are interested in making the or taking some of the Spider Verse characters from the movie. The quote specifically says Sony is considering making animated television shows based on characters introduced in Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. So that's really exciting. So that yeah. and those could be on Disney. Those could be on Netflix because I know they like DreamWorks does some like deals with Netflix and whatnot. Or yeah. the Disney app. Maybe there's a Sony Disney. I don't know, thing they hybrid could deal property. There. Yeah. They can go a lot of places, which makes me happy. Yeah, and honestly, when I was watching the movie, that's actually one of the first things I thought about was because some of these animated films do have series that kind of bridge the movies, like How to Train Your Dragon, uh, uh, Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Panda. Panda. Uh, I've never watched any of them, but <laughs> I know either. that I know they exist. And I think and I think you can get away with it a little easier because it is animation. Like You can hire another voice actor, and you know what I mean? Because you can't... Guardians I don't know does we, that. Yeah, I don't know if we can afford uh, Shamik Moore... I don't know that we can't. Maybe Sony can, but you know, maybe you can't afford them for the show. But um, so, yeah, we we wanted to know what kind of Spider Verse show we'd like to see, and what you guys would like to see as well. We asked the Discord, so we'll get to those in just a second. But since I wrote this, I'm going to go ahead and kick it off. Yes. With my first pitch, so I wrote a few questions for myself so they kind of help like narrow down what I want to see exactly. Yeah. And it was uh, which of these Spider Verse characters would I want to see more. I get more of their stories, which yeah. I thought, like, who has, like, the most to kind of work with? Yeah. And then I also wrote uh, which other Spider-Man characters should be could be introduced for their own series or as supporting characters. Yes. So first up, I immediately thought, like, when it comes to spinoffs, what, what's one of the most successful spinoffs uh, for an animated property or, or, any, or any, like, superhero was Batman Beyond. And I was like, yes. oh, okay, so, a fu uh, like, a futuristic take on a character where it's like you get you, there's some elements that you recognize yeah um but also you get this fun blend of futurism and technology and like technology yeah uh and just and cool new takes on old characters or new characters and so i immediately thought penny parker yeah and that's she our, was the anime character mm -hmm. uh in, that was introduced in spider-verse yes with the mech suit which yeah. is really cool and uh they they're uh you know, we don't have to spoil the movie. There's no reason yeah, to. Yeah. I was going to mention something. But yeah, no, when I started thinking about this, there's only two comics minus major events that Penny's taken, like, actually has been a character in. Interesting. Like, even in, like, the Spider-Women crossover, it was Spider-Gwen, yeah. Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew, and Silk. And, like, yeah. Silk was very popular back then, so it makes sense. But, like, I would very much like to see Penny uh, get a bigger story, and I feel like a TV show could be, like, the right space for her. And my, like, notes that I wrote down was, you can get a Batman Beyond-type vibe with a futuristic cityscape, which we yeah. saw. It's New York in the year 31, blah, 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 yeah. blah. It doesn't matter. Um, but also, you could get, like, uh, if you wanted to kind of add some of her, like, flavor of spider, spider heroics, yeah. you would have the villains being, like, a mix of mech yeah. and uh, spider villains that we already know. That'd be very cool. Mm -hmm. That'd be very interesting. Yeah, Green Goblin, but he's wearing a big mm, uh, monster truck. Yeah, yeah. Monster he's truck. got a monster yeah, truck. He's got classic. Monster truck. You got an octopus, but it's flying. It's got bat wings. Yeah, big octopus flying through yeah, the city, yeah, yeah. kind of like Brainiac ship from DC. So you think you think uh, for your futuristic spider story, Penny over like Spider Man twenty ninety nine? Uh, well, I mean, you have you could do that too. I didn't think about that until right now. We also have Garth McBurry in the chat on Twitch saying that they would love a Spider-Man 2099 show. And hey, who wouldn't? Deep Oscar cut, Isaac, by the way. Oscar Isaac, you couldn't get, though. Yeah, you'd have to get another voice actor. Uh, fun fun note, there was a Spider-Man show that came after the 90s series called Spider-Man Unlimited, mm -hmm. where Spider-Man goes to counter-Earth to fight uh, manimals created by uh, the High Evolutionary. Boy, howdy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Venom and Carnage follow him on the ship, so they're around, too. You gotta have some characters you recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so... But his costume, and I think the pit, they wanted to compete with Batman Beyond, and so it was supposed to be a Spider-Man 2099 show, and then that fell through, and they came up with this whole counter-Earth situation. Weird. Yeah, the costume <laughs> looks really cool, by the way. I wish I'd pull an asset for it, but the costume looks really cool Cool. Uh, in that show. Anyway, but just yeah, throwing that out there. I mean, I really, like, there's a lot of love for Batman Beyond, uh, and even, yes. like, with the spinoff comics and all the continuity that they've taken from the show and added to comics yeah. itself. 
Um, and like just Pete, there's like there's a love for it. So and I, I even though that specific brand of like like our, that futuristic outlook is very early two thousands. Yeah. There's a way to adapt it um, now that could make that could bring in new fans. Also, there's a lot of art styles that you could like take from. Like it's a specifically she's an anime character, yeah. so you could have. Um, like an American anime like mixture like um, Voltron or Korra or you no. could just go into like you could get an animation house from Japan or Korea to like make a proper like anime for that Absolutely. character and also you could have like Spider-Man like showing up for yes another. please please yeah. and thank you if you guys don't know Spider-Man was the Japanese Spider-Man live action show from the 70s yeah very, right. it would be very cool for me if I were to, if I were to, I guess what I wanted leaving the show is I think in future movies, they've already set up the Spider-Verse thing. I think future movies are going to be very multiverse focused. And I liked Miles and I liked his world and I liked the emphasis they put on making his, like the implication is that the doc, Dr. Octopus as we know him does not exist in that universe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'll leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it'd be cool if, if each movie is going to be more focused on uh, a bunch of spider people teaming up. Mm-hmm. I would. Lo- it would be cool to have a series that specifically focused on Miles, his adventures of Spider-Man, and his alternate universe with alternate takes on those characters. I mean, so would I. I you would, know what I mean? Like, and they're even different from the comics themselves. So yeah. there's a lot of like or, like originality there. Yeah, I and I, I would. I would definitely tune into that show. I would watch that show, and I think it's something that you could kind of seamlessly integrate into the big movies. And the movies would be the time that Miles teams up with. Uh, Peter B. Parker and all the other characters, you know what I mean? Mm. And and the show is just his day to day adventures. Nice. Yeah. Uh, my other pitch, I have a, I have like two more. If you don't, if you wouldn't, if you'd indulge me, <laughs> yes. I um, would love a Gwen Stacy show. And I, like I feel like that not only like the fact that this character was created four years ago yeah. and is now like a star of a movie. Like you can tell yeah. how popular she is, and that makes me happy. Yeah. And she's awesome. Like it, her every, her entire backstory that they created for this specific Gwen Stacy is really cool. And you could lend it to a lot of uh, like we kind of have uh, well, we get hints of Jason Latour and I'm blanking on the artist's name yeah. who worked on the Gwen Stacy Spider Gwen series. Yeah. You get some of that in the movie. And I would like to see some of that in the TV show, but also you could kind of go into the grungy metal. Like, imagine you go to a ska show and you see someone's made their own denim jacket with pins yeah. and like decals and stuff, and like they've hand like they sharpied on like a logo. Yeah. You can picture. Yeah, yeah. that's the look. That's the look of this show. Yeah. And also you could throw in a uh, Spider Punk, uh, yeah. which I would. That's a very popular character that yep. you've seen in Spider Man PS4, and uh, Spider Ham plays a really big role in the Spider Squen Stacy. Um, series in the comic, and so and it, and it's not him. It's like a kind of like a hallucination that's kind of helping her out a little bit. Interesting. If I when I re- was reading yeah, originally, yeah. maybe it changed, but I remember that. And but they have a very cool rapport, so I would like to see more of that as well. And it's just hey, if she's popular, maybe just I know she's got her own movie in development. Yeah. Probably wouldn't hurt to make a TV show as well. Yeah. But uh, final pitch. Yeah. Unless you have another pitch. No, no, no. Buckle up, kids. This is the easiest one. It's a Spider-Man anthology series. This is Spider-Verse. You get to see yeah. the whole gang. Check in on them. You get, oh, what do you get this episode? You, oh, you get Spider-Ham and uh, uh, Spider-Man from India. I couldn't, literally yeah. nothing else popped up in my head. Uh, Spider-Man and uh, Spider-Ham, since they're both like TV characters. I was a big fan of, this is kind of similar to Vault of Spiders mm-hmm. that, that uh, Marvel came out with uh, during the spider Dead crossover. Mm-hmm. And you kind of stopped in with other other spider people. And one that surprised me that I liked was the uh, Savage Land Spider-Man. Oh yeah. yeah. What's the background for him? So, uh, I get the Background is there's a character in the X-Men called Kazar that lives in the Savage Land, which every like every comic universe has, there's a spot where dinosaurs are still around. And of course. And he's like Tarzan in the dinosaur well, place. Somewhere. Exactly. He's like the Tarzan in the dinosaur place. And of course, in this version, it's like, what if Spider-Man? Like, mm-hmm. what if that was Spider-Man? And he was raised by spiders. Uh, and it seems like a real nightmare, yeah. if we're being honest. Um, but that there was a lot of fun versions of that. Here's my question to you, though. Do you think they could do because it's if it's animated it's probably primarily targeted toward young audiences cowards do you do you no but do you think do you think like uh, a company like sony would feel confident doing an anthology show for young people i would imagine that would be like a that would be like a, a leap for them a leap of faith if you will Ooh, <laughs> man i love that movie yeah um you know what maybe but yeah. i i think you could get kind of a you can because I'm all for this. I yeah. like this idea a lot. You could do a younger skewing one, but also you have you have that like just kind of taking the theme and the tone 
of this movie making something that kind of runs right down the middle like a Pixar movie does. Like this movie does where it's there's something for everybody there. Yeah. You could make a show like that uh, that could be more adult. And you know what? Kids, I feel like, are going to be okay. Like, maybe you have one character. You have the Spider-Man. Maybe it's Spider-Man 2099 that yeah. is the one that's hopping around between the, these different worlds. Yeah. And having three episode arcs with, like, this character, and now they go off... Basically, quantum leap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's quantum leap. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think you just need the one character to be the through line, and I yeah. think you'd be good for kids. But everybody else could maybe be more on board. But maybe as audiences in general, maybe you need that one person to be the connecting, like the little thread, the web. Yeah, if you will. Oh, or you could also maybe do a little Le- Legends of Tomorrow action, where there's a group of them that are jumping from reality to reality. Oh, that's Web Warriors. That's one team. Nice. Uh, that was one team that was not a successful comic, but it yeah. was a fun. It was a really good name. So. Also, want to throw this out there? I think they should. In- these big Spider-Man crossovers, they should incorporate evil Spider-Man because if there's a whole multiverse out there, some of them would be bad. Why just one bad? At least one. And I'm not talking like Doc Ock possessed Spider-Man's body because that's technically Doc Ock then. That's mm. not an evil Spider-Man. Like I want an a, evil Peter Parker. I want a Peter Parker that decided, hey, guess what? I'm going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. Throwing it I think there. that'd be interesting. Thanks. Just yeah. Just sit on it for a second. Yeah. But I also, so let us know what you think about those. But I did want to read really quick, Jay Shark, who's watching our Twitch show live, 4 p.m., uh, the Wednesdays, uh, twitch.tv. By Brain the Noggin. way, this might be a good time to mention the time is changing. Oh. Yeah, where our show is going to be uh, live 3.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. There you go. Just you throwing that out there. Tune in. Yeah. PST. That's Pacific Sam time. Let's read Jay Shark's uh, quick pitch. Uh, they wrote it in our Discord. Join patreon.com slash only stupid answers. Uh, my quick pitch is that whatever it is, um, there would there would need to be an episode with Sapita Man and Penny interacting. Boom! Yeah. May have read that earlier, and that's why I thought of it, but uh, let's say 50-50 on that yeah. one. Uh, aside from that, I think having it to be mile-centric and having different people pop in every episode slash few episodes to keep it lively, but also keep the clutter of characters down. I kind of like that they took an older Ben Riley and Peter Parker, like around the movie's age, and had them arguing over Miles and what's best for him or something. Also, give him me Mayday Parker or give me death. Silk, too. I want Silk. Ooh, and Spider-Punk. You know, what a uh, what an aged-up Jessica Drew can come along, too. Uh, she can be another mentor type. Jessica Drew as a mentor would be really cool yeah. and you can have the different Jessica Drews because there's a bunch of really cool ones out there uh, for it to actually be a Spider-Verse show uh, you'd have to keep it uh, keep the multiverse in it so maybe do a show where each season is in a different spider person's reality that's from Land Standard joining us live as well and I also want to read from Zral13 like the Edge of Spider-Verse tie-in comics where each issue was a story from a different spider person I think we're getting this anthology idea yeah. may have gotten it from them I'll be honest <laughs> may have written my ideas after I By asked the way, them for suggestions uh, I I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't hate just some Ben Riley involvement. Mm. All right, those are our thoughts on the possible Spider-Verse animated TV show. We're very excited for it. But how do you feel? Let us know in the comments down below what you should be excited for, it too. That's crazy. Hit also, the like button. Yeah, also, your pitches. I'd like to know what you think. Yeah, let us know what you think, what you what shows you'd like to see. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Go to OnlyStupidAnswers.com to see everything else we're doing. And subscribe to Patreon.com slash OnlyStupidAnswers for more exclusive content. It's this jelly button right over here. across his face, but it's right over there. Also, if you want to watch us live, our live Twitch show will now be 3.30 on Wednesdays. And Super TV Showdown will also be 3.30 on Thursdays on twitch.tv slash play noggin. I was doing um, plain movement. I know. I didn't want to look at it. Mm-hmm.